Hello, and welcome to a Taxware video tutorial. Today we'll be doing a quick start of the WinPay Payroll Checkwrite program. When you first open the payroll program, you will be greeted with this screen. The first thing you should do when you enter the program is go to Configuration. In Configuration, enter your Taxware client ID. Also make sure the checkbox for automatically check and download updates when you start payroll is checked. When you are done, push OK. Then click Support on the top left and check for updates. If there is an update available, the program will close and update. Now that we're on the most up-to-date version, the first thing we'll do is add an employer. To do this, we'll click on line 7, Change your Add Employer. Then we will click line number 1, Add. After clicking Add, it will ask for a unique file ID. This file ID can include numbers and letters, and is recommended that it be some portion of your employer's name. In our example, we will use the employer name of Acme Widgets, so we will put in the unique file ID of Acme. Once we've added an employer, it'll take us to the Employer Setup screen. Here we will fill out the employer's basic information, their tax rate information, and any other miscellaneous information. If you're an after-the-fact employer, make sure you check this box. An after-the-fact employer does payroll for bookkeeping purposes typically, not live payroll. Another important choice here is the paycheck format. There are many different paycheck formats available. Typically, you will want to pick the type of paycheck that you're going to be printing, the one that says with MICR. So in my case, I will be printing middle checks with MICR. MICR is the special font for routing and account numbers. Once you've made sure that all of this information is correct, you will now go into the Income Categories section at the top of the screen. In the Income Categories sections, you will put in the different types of income along with which categories they belong to. If certain types of wages do not fall into certain categories, uncheck the box for that. When you are done, press the OK button on the bottom of the screen. Next, we will do the same for deduction categories. You will put in the different types of deductions along with what kind of categories they are associated with. When you are done, press OK. Lastly, we will put in the bank information that will show up on the checks. To do so, click on Bank Info on the top of the screen. When you are done entering the bank information, press OK. Setup is a crucial portion of the payroll program. Please double and even triple check that your employer setup information is correct. When you are done, press OK. The next step will be to make employees. To do so, we will go into the employee setup. To add an employee, we will click the Add button. And we will need to enter a unique file ID. Just like the unique file ID for the employer, a unique file ID for an employee can be both letters and numbers, and should generally include their last name and potentially first name. If we had John Smith, for example, we might use his last name and his first initial. Next, you'll enter in the employee's basic information. Once you have entered the basic information for the employee, next go into Payroll Info on the top of the screen. Here you will enter the employee's payroll information. Setup on this screen is extremely important. Make sure you double and triple check that the employee payroll information is correct, then press OK. Next you can enter in default amounts for the employee's paycheck by clicking on the Rates and Units button at the top of the screen. Everything on this screen will be default for when you make a new paycheck for the employee. For example, if John Smith here made $19 an hour, you would put under the rates section 19, and if he normally works 40 hours a week, we will put in 40 for the default units. If instead he was salary, we would put in 1 for the salary amount, and then we would put in his weekly or 
bi-weekly salary here. In this case, we'll stick with hourly wages. You can also put in default amounts for the deduction categories. For example, if the insurance amount is always going to be $20, we can put in one unit of $20, which will be automatically put in on every paycheck. When you are done, press OK. Once you have double checked that all of the employee information is done, press OK. We are now ready to make our first paycheck. To make a paycheck, click on line number one, Paychecks. To add a new paycheck, click on New Paycheck. And then select the employee for which you wish to make the paycheck for. You can see that the default amounts that we put in have been populated. We will need to put in a pay period, and we'd also want to make any adjustments that need to be made. For example, if John worked 60 hours instead of 40, we can change the units amount to 60, and all the calculation changes have been made. When you are done with the paycheck, push OK. Our next step would be to print the paychecks once we have finished with them. To print paychecks, we will click on the Reports button, followed by the Paychecks option, followed by New Paychecks. You can see the paycheck we created for John. Here we can also make changes to things like the starting check number, the check date. We can also turn on checks to print or not print. And we can decide how we want to print them. We can preview and print from the preview to make sure everything is correct. We can print directly to the printer, or we can select PDF archive, which will do either of those, but also make a PDF archive of the checks. In this case, we will preview. Here we can see the check that is created. We are done, so we will close out, and we will push OK. If you have a problem with printing paychecks, perhaps you ran out of printer ink or paper, if you try to go back to new paychecks, the paychecks will not be there because they've already been processed. If you need to reprint a paycheck, you will need to go instead to the Reprint Existing Paycheck section. Click Access, and a list of the paychecks that you have printed previously will show up. You would use the same steps to print here as you did elsewhere. Check the boxes for the checks you want to print, and click Print or Preview. This concludes the Payroll Quick Start Setup. If you have further questions on the payroll program, please contact support at 1-800-877-1065, or send us an email at support at Thank you for choosing Taxware.